Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I'm with Randy with in-flight training. Randy, thanks for having us down to this awesome warehouse. The fit gym is great. I mean, you guys have so much going on here. But today we're gonna get into deadlifts. So I know that a lot of people, um, especially ladies, can be intimidated sometimes by this, you know, exercise specifically because they don't want to get hurt. Can you talk about some of the benefits of deadlifting? Well, for women, as they're working to build and tone, this will be a good lift for them. Um, they shy away from it a lot of the reasons because how men make it look, but it still has plenty of benefits. A lot of grunting. Ah, a lot of, ah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. hopefully I don't do too much grunting while I do this. Um, I know that a lot of times people don't know what weight to start with or where to begin. How does somebody pick the weight that they should start with? Well, first you need to work on your, your form and variables like your tempo and then build up from there. So it's right. really not something you should start off heavy with. You can even start off with a kettlebell, you can start off with a dumbbell, and then progress to the barbell, because the barbell gets real technical. Right. Um, so that, that would be a good start. Well, can you help line us up and show me what I need to be doing? Sure, so go ahead and step in here. Okay. So as you, as you lean over, you're gonna hold the bar, get your feet maybe about hip width apart, bring them in a little bit, Dave. Let's little go in. a little closer, okay. all right? Go ahead and put your hands on the bar. Now, I've seen this grip and I've seen this grip. Which one should I do? As you're starting off, un unless you get into a point where you're advanced and you've developed your biceps real good, right. people tend to get bicep tears from right. cross grip. Okay. So I would recommend just as you start, okay. until you get more advanced, to stay with the, the double overhand grip. Okay, and so, where should I be grabbing it on this? Right outside your legs. Okay, so about here? Yes, now the next cue is gonna be to shoulders back, yep. drop your hips down. Shoulders back, yep, yep. And you wanna be about an inch away from that bar, which you're good, you got good coverage of being away from the bar. So, next thing you wanna do is you wanna tighten up yeah. on the lats, you wanna keep your core tight. Feel it in, kinda of squeeze that engage, core. Yep, engage okay. your core, and then you just wanna pull all the slack out of, out of the bar, so get it to the point where it's about to break. Yep. And then you wanna drive those hips down and, and pull straight up. And just pull up? Pull up. Now, as you hit the top, you wanna drive those hips forward and squeeze your glutes, but you don't want to over-exaggerate it. Okay. All right? How many How many should people do of this? I would start off building up. Um, if you're doing lightweight, right. I'd start in somewhere between 12 to 20 reps, just building it up. And as you get stronger, as you increase the load. 12 to 20 reps? 12 to 20 reps. As you get stronger, I would increase the weight, drop back on the reps. Drop. So at the top, you just want to keep everything tight. Going back down, almost hinging, just at the hips. Where, like where is this really hitting? So you're working hamstrings, you're working glutes, and some variations where you stand and how far you kick the bar, you can get a little bit of quad work in there. Right. But for the most part, you're in engaging glutes and hamstrings. You really do feel this all throughout your legs. This is one of the big lifts. I, it, with me, it doesn't matter what type of client you are. We're going to do some version of a deadlift, some version right. of a bench press. I feel some it really through my squat. core also. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's definitely that's... a core engaging exercise. Now, I know you guys have a big grand opening coming up where you're going to be talking, doing different sessions, different offerings with group classes, with personal training. Can you tell us about some of the little things you're offering? So we'll be offering one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. We'll be doing group classes. We'll be doing boot camps. Like Those are a lot of things that are offered by in-flight training as well as Fit Warehouse. Um, another thing that we're going to be doing is a uh, training fundamentals class. This yeah. class will introduce you and get you into understanding how to lift weights, understanding how to maintain intensity, and train to reach your goal versus you know working out to think you're reaching your goal. A lot of people are real lost in what right. they're actually doing to get them toward their goal. Well, I know sometimes people hit that wall. You know, they've gone to the gym a couple times and they don't feel like they're really progressing. What are some of the benefits they're going to get with working with you? Well, so one of the things that I like to do is I like to pair you up and get you going on what fits into your lifestyle. Because if it doesn't fit into your lifestyle, asking you to change a lot is not going to work. Gotcha. So we usually try to find something. And if it's a partner workout, you can pair up with a partner and you guys can kind of push each other. Well, Randy, we know you've got a lot going on here. Give us a call. Give in flight training a call. You can check them out on their website. We've got more Midday Kentucky after this.